Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the stretching video. So if you did my last video where I did her legs and booty workout, oh my god, you must be feeling sore like I am. So, and I said I have to move my body just to get a little bit of the blood flowing and flush away all this lactic acid which is building my glutes and my legs. And um, that's the perfect opportunity to film a full body stretching routine, a cool down routine. You can also do this uh, as a um, workout on your light days or your rest days, or you can just um, do it after the training. All right, so we'll just start in the seated position and we're just gonna uh, rise our arms up, extend our bodies up, inhale and exhale. We're just gonna do a few more stretches like this. Pull the belly button in, and again, inhale, arms up. And now we're gonna go to the side. To stretch the side of your body, make sure that the sitting bones are on the ground and you really stretch the side of the body. And this will feel good. So inhale, arms up, and do the other side. Exhale, and do the nice. Oh, stretch, it feels so good. Good. Inhale, arms up, interlock your fingers here, fingers here and send the arms back uh, forward and rounding your back. And again, inhale, up and one more time, rounding the back, pressing the hands away from you. And again, inhale, arms up and interlock your fingers behind you. Open up the chest, lift your arms up and just breathe and feel good. You can do a little bit of the tiny movements here. You can even move your upper body uh, in a circular motion, however it feels good to you. Okay, and now we're gonna go into the all fours. Ah, these are always the stretches that I usually do. So inhale, arching your back, exhaling, rounding your back, really pressing through the hands and again, inhale up. Exhale, round the back. Good, now tuck your toes under and go into the down dog position. Good. And here, spread your legs a little bit wider. And you're gonna twist one arm up. Really lift up your chest as well and hands up in the sky, so again. Arms up and open up the chest. Good. Feels really good. You can even come a little bit forward, stretch it down as much as you can. Good. Now we're gonna step with one leg forward and you're just gonna feel nice stretch in your legs as well. We're gonna stay here a little bit. Don't do any kind of this jerky movements or whatever. Just hold the stretch. Okay? Now we can go a little bit lower down. Place the knee on the ground. We can a little twist, one arm up. Hold it. Good. And we're gonna change the legs now again. Go down dog to stretch a little bit of your legs, hamstrings, also your back muscles and stepping through again. Staying here in the low lunge position and really extend the back leg, heels pressing down and back. Inhale, exhale, lift up, arms up, good job. And leg goes down. The chest and breathe here also. You can also go a little bit in the back Feel a nice hamstring stretch and you can move forward very gently, backwards, forward, very good, backwards. You can do this a couple of times. Good. I'm going to repeat this one with the other leg because we didn't do that. So forward, backwards, nicely hamstring stretch here, forward again. Forward and backwards. Good. Gonna stand up. 
you're gonna go again like into the widest stance here you can even go lower if you want to you can grab on your ankles head down you can also cross with your arm and look up just you can even go down the forearms it's up to you however you feel okay feel engaged you can just stay here you don't really have to go as low as me but it feels really really good and I'm able to do it so it's totally fine for me but just be cautious even when you're doing the stretches yeah so now we're gonna go into the yogi squat so this is very good also for your mobility and flexibility of your hips everybody should do this and it's really really good so just pressing your elbows to the knees and stretching back. Uh, your groins and your hips as well so from the side will look like that okay back is straight and you're really staying in this position we should all be able to squat like this is one of the most important things when when you're doing the flexibility mobility movement and if you are still on your toes you can just put the yoga blocks underneath a towel or something and it will help you to increase this flexibility but this is really wonderful stretch to do but you can even move a little bit <laughs> i'm joking all right so now when we are here we're gonna open the legs a little bit more and we're just gonna do the pancake walk so we're gonna go from one side to another. So first, inhale, exhale, going down. And you're just gonna go forward, cross your arms and go to the other side and really stretch. So inhale, exhale, going to the other side. Inhale, exhale, go even deeper, okay? With every single walk, you can go a little bit deeper. forward and we're gonna make a diamond shape with our feet just feet together opening up our our hips as well so inhale exhale going forward can always stay a little bit longer in this position okay and now feet forward a little bit so now we have this diamond shape and do the same thing again so inhale exhale coming forward and you can even place your four forearms in front of your feet and go down this again will take some time but it's always good to do this kind of stretches after each and every workout. Even if you did upper body workout, I recommend a full body stretch every single time. So invest your time in stretching and your body will be so, so grateful for it. Trust me, yeah? Okay, so now another wonderful stretch. So we're gonna go to the side. So inhale, you're going on the side, stretch here. Good. and then you're going to place one hand just behind your knee and you're going to come up and open up all right and look behind your hips going forward and just look behind you and really really stretch all the way from your toes all the way to the finger on the right side of the body good and now you can just basically change your legs and again we're going to go to the side so inhale and exhale going to the side Ah, I feel nice. You can go a little bit more forward. If this is too hard for you, you can just, you can just try your best, okay? And again, inhale, arms backwards, and hips forward, and going backwards as well. So it's a light back bend as well. Good. If you want to repeat this, you can totally do it more times. You can stay in the pose a longer time. It's up to you okay so now we're gonna do a little bit uh, more for our spine so before we did cat and cow okay we can repeat one more time then we're gonna go into the bird dog thread the needles and so on so again inhale 
and exhale, maybe pressing through the hands and again inhale, looking up, arching the back and booty stuck backwards. And again, exhaling. Now neutral spine and again inhale and exhale, extend your body with your arms forward, leg backwards and just hold it here. This one is really amazing for your core as well. And going down, inhale and exhale, stretch your body forward. Stretch your body forward, stretch your arms and legs. Okay, as much as you can. Okay, now we're gonna thread the needle. So we're gonna go on all fours again. So inhale, arm up and exhale. You're gonna go under the arm. We'll stay here and then open up. So we have another twist. It's really good for the upper back. Just breathe, you can look up and you can even send the arm a little bit backwards to have a very nice stretch in your shoulder and your back as well. And again, inhale here, arm up and exhale to the other side. So staying here and again inhale. Exhale, arms up and really, really do a nice stretch. Oh my God, it feels really, really good. Stay here and never hold the breath. Always breathe, breathe, breathe. That's super, super important. Good. Coming here, now you're gonna tuck your toes. I mean, cross it. And you're gonna go into the seated position. Okay. From this one, you're gonna inhale. And exhale, going into the forward fold. Always when you're going into the forward fold, remember you're bending through the hips, not from the upper back. And on inhale, you're just gonna elongate your body. On exhale, you're gonna even fold forward, even more. And breathe. Good, and again, arms backwards, and we're gonna go into the reverse. Plank, open up. Breathe. And again, inhale and exhale, sending your body forward. This stretch is really amazing. It will stretch your hamstring, it will stretch your glutes, it will stretch your lower back all the way up into your shoulder, arm stretch, and you'll feel just incredibly and really nice. And again, repeat one more time. You can now go into the tabletop. So inhale, exhale, lifting up. You can look up or you can just lower down the neck and surrender. Make sure that your legs are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Feel the nice stretch. Good, and go down. Now, the next stretch is really amazing if you're sedentary and all the time behind your desk. So we're gonna Rotate the fingers outside and you're going to lift yourself up and go with your arm across your body. So this is a thoracic bridge stretch and it's really, really amazing. Just breathe. Good. And we repeat this on the other side. So inhale, exhale, coming up and stretch. Breathe. Good, and slowly come down. Okay, so now from this position, we're just gonna again cross our feet and we're gonna go into the down dog again. From down dog, we will just slide gently forward into the, like a wave motion into the up dog, but with toes stuck. Yeah, so you can also let them go down or you can have them tucked. And then reverse the movement, strong core, send your body back and down to down dog. And again, on your toes, lower down your thighs, stretch your abs, open up the chest. Good. And again, down and stretch. We do it one more time and we're gonna stay down on our bellies. So inhale and exhale, going down. Now you can 
Place the feet down. Good. And we slowly go down as well on our belly. So now we're gonna do a little bit of the cobra. So again, hands are next to our chest, elbows close to your body, shoulders rolled back and down. We're gonna squeeze our glutes, squeeze the glutes, and lift your upper body up. Keep it squeezed because when you're squeezing the glutes, you're protecting your lower back. Hold it here. You can even go higher and higher and higher just into the high cobra. Don't shrug your shoulders like that. Always round them back. And down. And slowly go down. Okay, the next one, we're gonna grab one leg and the other one, actually your foot. And try to keep your knees as close as possible. So inhale and exhale. We're gonna lift our body up. Ties away from the mat and also the upper body away from your mat. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Awesome. And go down. Good. Now we're gonna roll on the side a little bit. Okay, and you're gonna grab your ankle again. And now we're gonna do the thigh stretch. So really pull the leg backwards. You will feel a nice stretch in your thighs. And just Enjoy here, feel this nice stretch. If you have balancing issue, you can always bend the lower leg as well. So stretch it, good. And we're gonna do this with the other side. So we're here and stretch and bend. Uh, it feels really, really good, especially after this leg workout and actually just killed me. But this is really amazing one. One of really amazing stretches as well is um, this kind of stretch. You can also have one arm extended here and you're just gonna bend the knee and open up the hips to the side and just relax here. Feel a nice stretch here. And this is also natural shoulder and pack um, stretch as well. Okay, so now the other side, arm is by your side, and again, open up the hips, and really, really stretch as much as you can. Good job. And we're coming back to the center. Good. Coming up, untuck your toes, and going to down dog as well. change the side so now we're gonna do one legged dog so inhale leg up and now exhaling sending sending the back leg into the front into the pigeon also here if you are not supposed to be like this okay so hips supposed to be square and the leg is extended and activated. Also, if you need to put something under your glutes to help you because you're still a little bit too high, you can use your yoga block, towel, or anything that will help you. So, if you need it, of course. And again, inhale, exhaling down, and you just stretch your body, front body up and away from you. And you just stay here as much as you can and just try to relax your body here try to relax you will definitely feel the stretch here but just try to relax and stay a little bit longer in this position breathe and then when you're ready you can come up and we're gonna bend the last the back leg and pull it gently yeah towards you so definitely you will feel now the quad stretch as well open up your chest your back as well very good and now sending the back leg in the front and cross it so you're here open up the chest as well this is really important when when you're doing the stretches it's always super important that you first adjust your spine and then your limbs, your legs and arms and so on. 
So now we're gonna hug the knee and we're gonna just look behind and do the twist. So now you will also feel the glute stretch as well and also very nice twist. Good job. Stay here for a few moments, then unwrap yourself, sending the back leg um, back again and then going into the down dog. One more time. So we're gonna repeat this on the other side. So lift the left leg up now. Inhale, exhale, sending it forward, and we're just gonna go back like this. Again, adjust your position so hips are square, open up the chest, back leg is straight and activated. Really squeeze it and inhale, exhale, going down, and you'll feel st stretch in the left glute now. So inhale and exhale all the way down. If the front leg is still not like horizontally, it's still a little bit under the um, under the uh, angle, like 45 degrees angle, it's totally okay. Just do you, do how you feel, observe your body and hear, hear your inner voice, like when it's enough, it's enough, just relax and just enjoy the moment, enjoy the stretch and get the full benefits out of this super, super stretch. Good. When we come up, we'll grab the back foot and gently pull it towards you. Oh, that's good. So, so good. Breathe. Ah, feels really good. And now sending the back leg front and cross. Good. And hugging it with the other arm. Open up the chest. Look behind you. And breathe again. Always breathe. Never hold the breath. It feels really, really good when you're doing these kind of stretches. Unwrap ourselves. Good. And we're gonna go on our backs. Oh, and hold your knees to the chest. You can fold one to the chest. And now we're gonna just extend this leg again. And we come up. You can even come up and extend this leg as well. Just feel it here. And now we can also basically send the leg completely extended on the other side. Okay, make sure also that the chest is looking up, the shoulders are down. Very nice stretch as well. And again, sending back to the center, we're gonna change the leg. So now the other leg is basically bent pulling towards you, so we are stretching the hip flexors here. And now, extend the legs, so lift the leg up. Now we are stretching the hamstrings. Go as much as you can go. Good, going down and now sending the straight leg. Cross your body and all the way down. Good, you can even look on the other side, so it's very nice twist. With the extended leg. Good job, back to the center. So now we're gonna go just gently into the bridge. So inhale, exhale, lifting the body up. And you can scoop your body under and clasp your hands. Just stay here and breathe. Good, and go down, and now you can even go into the plow pose, so I'll go a little bit more down. And just go up, and send your leg backwards. You can also put your hands on the lower back, send your legs. You can also bend the knees if you want to, or extend them. Now you can lift yourself up into the shoulder stance. And 
and slowly back down into the lying position. That's optional, of course. So, and again, now we're gonna cross our uh, legs like this, and we're gonna go on one side. And that is very good for the IT band and also the piriformis muscles, the muscles inside the hips as well. So sometimes it gives us a lot of trouble. And also the IT band, you know, nicely stretch it out as well. You can repeat this many times because you're also massaging the glutes in a very, very nice way. As you would do like a foam roller, you're never massaging like up and down but always side to side because you have to know how the muscle fibers in the glutes are positioned, right? So you have to massage it in the right way, otherwise you won't do any good anyway. Good, oh, it feels really, really good. So now just stretch all of the body back. Oh. Let it go. And you can basically just stay in this position as you want it. And if you want, you can just come up and basically you're done. So this is like a full body, very nice um, stretch. With one of my favorite stretches, I always do either after my bootcamp classes, either my own personal training, and you will feel amazing after. At least you did something for your body, and uh, yeah, you flush out a little bit of the uh, lactic acid. So at least your uh, your blood flow started to go, and this will help. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this stretching routine. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, click the bell button to get notified about my uploads, share, comment and all that good stuff. Alright, so thank you so much for training with me and I wish you a wonderful weekend and i see you next time. Ciao!